Once upon a time in the kingdom of Hush, there lived a beautiful girl called Hela. Hela has a lovely voice and sings beautifully well. She is the son of a rich farmer and her family is well respected by all and sundry. Unfortunately, her parents passed away and she had to take the job of a maid in the next village. She sings during market days to make extra money for herself. She has many admirers who comment on her beautiful voice, but she's too scared to give them attention. She works for a farmer who has three proud daughters, Hama, Ene, and Ifi. They do not help Hela with any house chores because they believe doing such dirty jobs is not for queens like them, especially now that men are coming to seek their hand in marriage. They treat Hela badly and embarrass her at every given opportunity, and they always make her understand that she is only a slave and nothing more. Hela would cry and cry, but there was nothing she could do. One day, a prince named Ogbo came looking for Hama, the first daughter. He heard Ella singing and knew immediately that the voice sounded familiar. He moved closer to where the sound was coming from, but Hama appeared and took him away. He asked Ama who was singing, and she told him it was their maid, Hela. Ama called out for Ella to serve the guests. The moment Ogbo set his eyes on her, he knew it was the woman who sings at the market square on market days. He has been a secret admirer and wishes to be a friend, but she always runs away whenever she's finished singing. Ogbo had met Hama at a royal event the previous week and they became friends. Now that he saw Hela, he knew his heart belonged to her. So, he asked Hama to help him tell Ella that he loves her so much and would love to marry her. This came as a big shock to Ama because she thought Ogbo was interested in marrying her. She pretended like everything was fine and told Prince Ogbo that she would deliver his message. But when Ogbo left, she went to meet Ella and slapped her across the face. How dare you seduce the man I brought home to marry? Who do you think you are? Any and Ifi had the commotion and rather than stop Hama, they joined her and beat Ella up. Ella fainted at a point and Hama suggested that they kill her and throw her body in the river. Hene was scared and did not agree to this. In the end, they decided to throw her out in the evil forest while unconscious, where no one returns from. Hene wasn't happy about it, but there was nothing she could do. Days passed and Ogbo visited again. The girls had cooked up stories of how Hela got pregnant for a married fisherman, stole their expensive goods and ran away with him. Ogbo found it hard to believe this, but he kept visiting the girls. One day, Henny was disturbed by a conscience and opened up to Ogbo when her sisters were not around. She told them that she hasn't been able to sleep well knowing Ella may be dead in the evil forest. This revelation hurt Ogbo greatly and he did not visit the girls again. Years later, the girls lost their father and they soon became very poor because they did not learn their father's street when he was alive. They tried looking for jobs but they were too lazy to deliver. So, they left the village to a faraway land to become beggars. The girls would beg people for food, money, or anything to help them survive. One day, the queen of that village saw them begging in the marketplace and she asked them to come home with her. She gave them rooms and food and asked them to see her after freshening up. The queen introduced them to her adopted daughter, Princess Hela. The girls were surprised to see that it was Hela who worked with them as a maid years back. They couldn't say anything because they were scared. Luckily for them, Hela didn't tell her mother about the girls and how they mistreated her. She met them later to ask them what happened and they explained that since they lost their father, they have suffered so much. She felt pity for them and promised them not to tell her adopted mother or anyone about them. They begged her to forgive them for dropping her in the forbidden forest. But Hela said she has forgiven them because she wouldn't have met the queen if they didn't drop her there. She said the queen had just lost a daughter when a man saw her in the forest and took her in and took great care of her since then. She then told the girls that they are now friends and sisters. She informed the girls that she will be getting married soon to the man of her dreams, Ogbo. They were surprised. 
She then told them that Ogo had gone to the Forbidden Forest to find her after Ene told him what they did and he was directed to the palace and he proposed to her immediately. Their relationship had grown stronger and stronger ever since they met again and now they are getting married. The girls pretended they were happy. Hama wasn't happy about the news of Hela getting married to Ogo. She hated Hela so much for this and she has decided to make sure the marriage doesn't work. She told Ifi a plan, knowing Ene would not support it. They both decided to pour poison in Ella's beating water before her wedding to damage her face and skin. With that, Ogbo would not marry Ella and Hama would get him back. One day, Ella spent the night with the girls and she had just finished telling them about her plans for the wedding decoration and they gave her ideas. The next morning, Hama poisoned the water and asked her to quickly take a bath and go with her to the market to get the items. Ella rushed to the bathroom to take a bath and went back to the girls and they were happy that their plan worked. The poison would take effect the next day and nobody would suspect them. Hama and Ifi also took their bath, eat and went with her to the market. They bought the items and went back home. The next morning, Hama and Ifi woke up to find their face, mouth and stomach swollen. They began to scream and people soon gathered. Hama began to cry and she asked Ella if she used the water they put for her to bathe in the bathroom the previous day. Ella did not understand what was going on. Hama kept repeating the same question until Ene understood. She then remembered that she needed to fill the drum with water and she poured the water that Ella was supposed to use to bathe in the drum before going to fill it up back and she replaced it when she was gone done. Ama and Ene screamed in pain and they apologized to Ella for Amina in the past and trying to alter again. Ella couldn't believe this because she thought the girls had changed. She told her mother, the queen, and she sent them out of the kingdom, never to return. This story shows that some people hardly change and they often misuse second chances. When you give people a second chance in your life, Always watch your back because they may be coming up with more ways to harm you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and comment below if you enjoyed this video. Thank you.